Hey guys, it's Kristen with icstarsquilting.com. Welcome to my channel. Today is a work day in my studio and I thought I'd take you around a little bit and kind of show you what I have in progress at the moment. So, yeah, it's kind of like a catch up day for me. I've got a lot of stuff going on, a lot of things that need fixing, a lot of things that need those last minute like finishing touches that I have been putting off for a while, if you know what I mean. Yeah, today, just t-shirt, ready to go, and uh, ready to get some work done. So the first thing on my list today is this gorgeous quilt that I started a few weeks ago. I shared with you in one of my videos a little bit about it as well as the tutorial for it. It's a free pattern that um, Missouri Star has a tutorial for. It's already out there, but if you're looking for a fun pattern to do with a layer cake, this is a really fun one. I, of course, went in a little bit extra because that's what I like to do. I can't help it. I went in with a little bit extra, but it is a super simple concept to do a layer cake. And now I'm going through and I am chain piecing all of the blocks together to make it easier, making sure that I also go through and nest my seams so that those corners match up nicely. I love when in a quilt when you can see those corners match up so nicely. It adds like that little layer of detailed professionalism that a lot of people can't see, but if you are a quilter and you know to look for those things, you can definitely see those in other people's works. And not that you should be judgy, you shouldn't be judgy about other people's quilts. But I really like seeing it in my own quilts, right? So I'm making sure that all of those seams line up and I'm nesting those seams. If you want a tutorial on nesting seams, I'm gonna put a link across the top of the screen to my tutorial on nesting seams and chain piecing your blocks together. It's super easy and it makes a quilt come together very quickly. Another project that I have going on today in my sewing space is this quilt. Guys, this is the quilt that does not want to be made, apparently. <laughs> Like, it doesn't want to be made and I can't help it. I can't do anything about it. Like, every time I work on it, I'm like, okay, this is it. I'm gonna finish it. It's gonna happen. It's gonna get done, right? And then I don't. <laughs> like, I finally got around to quilting the thing. I love it. I love the way it turned out. I finally got around to making the binding for the thing. I finally sewed the binding on the thing. And now I gotta finish up the binding. Problem is, it's a big quilt, it's heavy, it feels like a lot of effort to do it. And so internally, I just tell myself like, ah, we've waited this long, a few more weeks won't matter. But really and truly, I am ready to have this thing done because it's just, it's time. It's like, it's one of those tasks that kind of weighs on your mind and the back of your mind and you don't think it bothers you, but deep, deep down, deep, deep down, it has bothered the heck out of me for like months. It's getting finished today. While I'm doing all of this in my sewing room here, on my long arm, I have some projects being quilted too. So this is one of them that I have one running right now. It's probably gonna take, you know, a couple hours on this one. And then I'm hoping to get another quilt loaded up around lunchtime today so that I can finish one this afternoon and um, have both of those go out Monday morning in the mail very excited to have those out and done and I love 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 both of the quilts and then I have this other project that I started and it's a little crazy okay I'm not gonna lie it's a little bit crazy let me go get these pieces for you and let me show you what it is I'm working on okay check this out Remember how I told you that I love to keep my projects in boxes, okay? An entire quilt top is inside this box. It makes me feel like I'm magic. Like, so this is the quilt that I'm working on. It is a very scrappy quilt by Quilty Love, whom I love, Emily Dennis. This is a free pattern on her website as well. And this is the blocks that I'm making. Everything is very organized in here. So excuse me if I don't like pull everything out very quickly and dump it out. Do you see all of my stuff in here? Yes, I'm using Tula fabrics. And I started with a Tula like um, fat quarter pack. So here's all of these. Let me get a little bit closer so you can see. Look how tiny these pieces are. Look how tiny they are. That is a 
one and a quarter inch by two and a half inch piece. I'm gonna have to share like a whole video on just this project at some point. Not today because I'm, I need to get started on the things that I need to get finished because I'm gonna get too excited about this project right here. And then I am going to not want to work on my other project. So good news, I got a lot of stuff accomplished today. I'm going to have to end the day a little bit earlier than expected because I have a birthday party to attend for my niece. And I know she watches my videos and I love her so much. So happy birthday, Lauren. I love you, sweet girl. But let me give you a quick rundown of the things that I actually got accomplished and show you what I've done. So I got a couple quilts finished today. This is mostly how my long arm space looks. It's um, usually just kind of covered in quilts in different stages and processes and getting ready to ship and all of that. That's how it normally looks which was really good and that's just a whole lot of babysitting that machine and um, making sure that I'm advanced to the next row, making sure that I feed my wonderful Millie lots of thread and keep her nice and clean and dust it out because that's what she loves, right? And this is the project that I was working on while my Millie was doing all of the long arming. I was working on this one right here and here it is all put together. It's wonderful. I love the way that it turned out. I'm thinking I may add like a, a pink piping to the binding, which could be really fun, right? It could be really fun. We'll see how it turns out. Okay, and then, yes, that quilt that has given me grief for months, it's done. I'm thrilled, I'm so excited. My unicorn quilt is ready to go on my daughter's bed, finally, after years, years. It's been years. Yeah, it's been years. But we're not going to feel bad about it because today is the day that we celebrate it being done and no guilt. It's done. I'm excited. Uh, that's kind of a peek into what's going on in my workday sewing room today, by the way. If you think that the sewing room stayed clean during all of this process, you are very, very misled. <laughs> Here's what the sewing room looks like. Uh, while I'm working, my sewing room is an absolute disaster. Take a look at this. Yeah, things are, um, you can look at it as in somebody has had a wonderful time in here and they have enjoyed themselves immensely. Yes, I love my sewing room. It is constantly in a state of um, what I like to call construction in terms of everything is everywhere. I am moving things, trying to figure out the perfect spot for things, making sure that I have things taken care of, making sure that I have things picked up, and then two seconds later making an absolute mess again. It is what it is. It's a creative space and I think that it is perfectly okay to have a very messy sewing space. Let's see. Woo! Don't fall out of the chair. So thanks for coming along on my work day today. I had a great time showing you the stuff that I'm working on. Um, things are always happening in here. I don't always get a chance to put it on YouTube, but you know what? It's been a long day today and I am going to go have some fun. So I will talk to you next time. I'm Kristen with IcyStarsQuilting.com. Have a great weekend and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Sweetheart, are you being good today?